Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, and ever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today I'm going to make a cool video. I have seven amazing charts, really cool charts, and the first three I'm going to go through quickly, but the last like four charts, they are very important. Must see video, really. Believe me, it's not clickbait, it's a must see video. Now, let's quickly jump into those. Here, this is the first chart. Now, this is the four hour chart on the Bam Bam indicator. The Bam Bam indicator on the bottom is not deciding yet what to do. That's why we work with a triple confirmation. The moment we see a flag is not the moment we go long or short. We wait for a triple confirmation. We need to see a long flag. We need to see a candle closing above that yellow stepping line. We need to see the BAM crossing that gray line. And we need to see the gray line on top. And we need to see a lot of green instead of yellow. And that would be a quadruple confirmation. Even if only three of them are okay, that would be also enough. And then we take that long, to be clear. Now, um, something that I saw on the charts that I showed you a few times, this one. And uh, this one is like not really positive because we couldn't keep the support at the 2.618 level, which means we can fall all the way to the 1.618 level, but that is a 30K. I don't see this happening because you can see here there's a lot of support, but I will come back to that in another chart, guys. Now, let's jump to the next one here. The, vi the four hour chart, but now a little bit bigger zoomed out view. Um, we have a low over here. We created a higher low and another higher low. This higher low needs to stay intact because after a higher low, we need to have a high. We have the low, we have a high, we have a higher low, we have a higher high, we have a higher low, and then we should create another higher high. If this low is going to break, because if you look to the line, the line is already breaking a little bit, but we can fall all the way to here before we break it. I don't see this happening yet. So for me, this low needs to be intact. If this low is going to break, then we are out of this trend of higher lows. And that would be bearish to me, guys. In the day channel, you can see the same. Oh, too much colors, guys. You can see the RSI. We were having that green support line on the bottom. Here, the support line. And we broke that line. The RSI dropped below that green line. So now, if you look at that dotted white trend line that's coming down, we are inside this downward trend line and we need to break out of this trend line to go up in the day perspective. And that's what you see in the Fibonacci retracement levels. This was the bottom, that was the top. So these levels in between, they become important. And we are now here at this level at 40K. If you look to the left, look here, the wick went to there, here it was support, here it was resistance, resistance, resistance. This level should hold. If not, the next level should be here, 0 0.236 level at 38K. Again, if that happens, not very bullish to me. And that is what you can see in the Gaussian channel. That's what I showed you also the last couple of days, weeks. If we break that, we will go to the midline. If we can't keep support on the midline, the bottom line is the next target. We don't want to go to the bottom line. That's 34K, guys. So this candle is a five day candle is going to close in three days and 10 hours. As you know, in crypto in three days, a lot of things can happen. If we close like above that level of 48K or maybe even here 46K, that would be a red candle with a large wick, the one that you saw over here reversal candle that can be formed in three days we need to keep an eye on this one now let's quickly jump into some very interesting charts now we're going to start with bam this is the first chart guys the bitcoin entity adjusted adjusted dormancy flow created by the rational root on twitter every time when that dotted line that is the entity adjusted dormancy flow gets into this green box in the bottom is an amazing moment to buy the dip this here if you bought that dip in the bitcoin price we only went up here again we had that crash this was 
um, I think July over here if you bought in that green box we only went up here now we are back at that level that we saw over here in July and that we saw over there in March if we get in this green box that are moments to buy the dip that is what this chart is telling you you can see the Bitcoin price you can see the all-time highs over there here you saw some more all-time highs and you can see that dotted line that dotted line the moment it touches this green box is a moment to buy the dip now first chart next one bam over here also very interesting this chart is showing you the bitcoin dominance at the moment the bitcoin dominance is 39.65 percent good um, but it needs to go higher every time we drop below 40 percent mostly we see a reversal in the chart really cool next chart bam this one they call it the rainbow price chart the rainbow price chart was created i think by blockchain and and that one is telling you in the colors maximum bubble territory sell serious sell the fomo uh, is this a bubble hodl still cheap accumulate buy and basically a fire sale these levels so you can see that the blue levels of course are the fire sales uh, and the red levels on the top of course are you know this is a bubble let's sell and um, we are now in the middle we are in the yellow light green area so that's the hodl area to the very still cheap area in my opinion if you look to the left every time when we go in this area in a bull run these are the dips to buy during the bull run you can see it over here and you can see it over here again these are the dip moments to buy into the bone. So the last couple of months, you should have been accumulating Bitcoin, in my opinion. Why? I will show you in the next chart. But just keep in mind that we are now at the mid of that rainbow chart. And we should still go to that darkish red area, which would be above 100k. Still believing this. I am still saying, for me, the bull run is not over. Till I see lower lows on the weekly, lower lows on the daily, then I start to doubt if the bull run is over. Till now, I don't have doubt yet. Now, let's go to the next chart. Bam, over here. Um, this chart is showing you, um, it's by charts BTC, by the way, that um, we did reach, like, I think, eight times the halving price over there. We are now at five times the halving price the previous time the top we had like 64 and 30 times the halving price so we are really low at the moment only five times the halving price and um, then average you can see was 45 and 30 times so i think we will have this extended bull run and somewhere now in 2022 reached at 100k level which would mean the 16 time the halving price about 16 times the halving price that would be 120k because the halving price was 8k times 16 is 120 whatever 28 i think so that would be ending over here and then you can see that indeed the tops are declining and um, from 60 to 30 to 16 that is what i expect to do for bitcoin now one more amazing charts yes bam i told you i have some amazing charts today this chart um, is the block reward chart i have never seen it before i really like it what is this telling you it's telling you um, that the block height where we are at the moment the price at that moment the block reward 6.2 bitcoins per block so that means that per block in total, in total the reward is 290,000 us dollar 6.25 times the bitcoin price is the block reward the question now which was asked by wicked smart bitcoin this one on twitter is when will the first block reward be above a million not the price of bitcoin but the block reward so at the moment the block reward is 6.25 bitcoin so in currency this is 290 000 us dollars so, so we should go times three and a half the price should be 150k at this moment to be a million dollar block reward around this area so if bitcoin goes to 150k we would come here if bitcoin would go and do this after the next halving then we only have three uh, bitcoins in reward halving so then we need to have a price of 300 000 us dollar per bitcoin to reach 
the million dollar block reward really cool chat uh, thanks for sharing it on twitter guys um bam that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed the video i hope you are a uh, mindset creating the zooming out view in bitcoin long term keep dollar cost averaging keep buying keep buying the dips because uh, that bull run in my opinion really is not over i still don't see uh, a bear market but i will be honest when i see it and um, if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up Share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think? Do you think the bull run is over? Or do you think that we are still in a bull run? I ran a Twitter poll, by the way, on this. I am going to open the Twitter poll over here. 66% um, of the followers thinks that the bull market is still on. Only 34% thinks that the bull market is over. So you have an idea what my followers think. Now, that was really the end. Please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, and leave those comments. Whatever you want on the charts, on the poll. Thanks for watching, and see you tomorrow again. Bam!